e te mana whenua, tēnā koto, e nā pukororo e te rā, tēnā koto, e nā tīne whānau o kāpiti, tēnā tato katoa, ko Lindsay Craig aho. Ke rau mate, tō mātou kaina, ko ako tamahine, ke te kaunehera aho e mahi ana, ki ora tato koto. I'm honoured to share the stage with such esteemed speakers today. On International Women's Day, I wanted to particularly acknowledge our Wahine speakers and leaders. Thank you for coming to listen. This is such an important kaupapa. I'm here to speak to the Community Lake Coastal Adaptation Project for this district. Simply put, this project aims to inform our community of the environmental challenges to our coastline that affect us all, regardless of where we live in the district as a result of climate change. It's also to bring us as a community together to develop solutions for adapting to those changes over time. In preparation for this conference, I've been reflecting on what's needed for this project to be a success. And there are three components that I believe are essential. Transparent, evidence-based, accessible science, the indigenous knowledge of our Tangata Fenwa, and you, our Kapiti community. We are a community at a huge advantage as we have all these essential components within our district. This summit has provided an important opportunity to have all these components together in the same space at the same time. As I thought about these three essential components for success of this project, it brought to mind parallels with the three baskets of knowledge of traditional Māori wisdom, Te Kete Wānanga. Our speakers, Mahini Aranga Baker and Dr. Aroha Spinks, remind us that we have proactive, passionate expertise within our Tangata Fenwa, working in partnership will ensure the collective environmental vision, values and position inherited and held by the iwi of Kaupati are woke, woven through our plans. We've heard from Professor James Renwick, a Kaupati local and recently appointed member of the New Zealand Climate Change Commission. He is a renowned expert in his field with four decades experience in weather and climate research. And then finally, we have you, the Kaupati community. In this room, we have approximately 250 people. You've traveled from all over the district to listen to our corridor today. Our communities are made up of people from all generations, beliefs, abilities, backgrounds, experience, and skills. What unites us all today, regardless of our viewpoints, is an interest in this subject, a desire to know more, and a willingness to be involved. Projects such as these simply cannot work without your input. And we want as wide a representation and involvement of you, our community, as possible. So what do we know? We know that our coastline is changing. Many of you will have noticed changes over time as you're out there enjoying our beautiful beaches. And there's a growing body of science in New Zealand and internationally. We know there's uncertainty about how significant the resulting challenges will be or when they will happen. We know it will be irresponsible to wait for significant change to happen before we act. We know that it's crucial for us as a community to start planning for our future. We know that communities which plan for change are more resilient when they need a response. So what can we do? The Coastal Adaptation Project will work to understand coastal hazards and risks and explore management options for Carpeti. We will ask you to become involved formally for the establishment of community assessment panels and will look closely at the issues and develop preferred solutions. We also will be looking at ways to involve you in less formal ways to update you and seek your input along the way. As this is a community-led project, we aren't coming to you with a blueprint of where this work will land. Community-led is a collaborative approach of tapping into existing local wisdom and interest to unleash community capacity by working together to create and achieve local solutions. We're taking a truly grassroots approach and that's why we've asked you to come today to begin to explore this topic together, be part of the conversation and tell us how you want to be involved. I urge you to stay around for the second part of the day to come and speak to the coastal team and listen to the talk on the project in the council marquee to find out more. You'll also have an opportunity to hear more from some of our morning speakers. A final thought I wanted to leave you with. When I first started working at council, 
I noticed something I had not noticed before, despite being a Carpetty resident for almost a decade. If you look underneath the KCDC logo, you will see a Māori proverb, which I now know was provided by Council Kalmata Korodum. It says, Mi huri whakamori ka titaro whakamo, urging us to consider the past when planning for the future. When I read that, it truly resonated with me how apt this is for the coastal adaptation project. We can learn from looking back at how our coastline once was and how it's changed. We have memories and stories we've shared or heard that speak to this change over time. And we keep this in mind as we look forward, to work together as a community to find solutions. The decisions we make today and over this process will impact on our tamariki, our mokapuna, our children, our grandchildren and their future generations. We want them to be able to look back and see the work we've undertaken to protect their futures. So please, the next time you see the KCDC logo, look underneath and be reminded of how important it is for you to be involved. Mihuri Fakamuri, Katitro Fakamo, Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Kiora Tato Katora. Achiora Tato, Gamihi Kakoto, I chuaki de Kiruni Tata Miraki Tatu Koto Fakaro. About 130 odd years ago, I had a, our prophet to Koti had a, a prophecy, he said, Queen uh, Emwana Kōrero, e te iwi, ko tōpo koutou whenua, e tere ana, e tere ana ki te moana, ki te muro o te ahi, uh, ka re tae e koutou ki te pupuri. Uh, what he said was that all your people, your land is all being lost out to sea, all be lost out to sea, and lost into the muro o te ahi, into fire. Uh, you will not be able to to uh, stop that. But uh, he also said, Ani te rewana, ma koutou kimi te henu. He also said, that is the bread I give you, you find the butter to fix it. <laughs> so the, so koe nga te kōrero, kia haune kia koutou. Uh, nō reira, he kōrero anō, kei roto i te kauni hera, he tōtaki tini taku toa, he hararai te tōtaki tahi. The success of what's been said here today for climate change is based on everyone's effort, but not of one. So I like to uh, just uh, close off with a, or do I close with a karaki if yeah. you want to say? Yeah. Um, so uh, yes, uh, so now I'd just like to uh, close with a, a karakia. Lindsay, I admire you for your lovely kōrero, a toreo. E putatu rāko e koutou e, e putatu tō tātou reo Māori ane rātou ku mihi kia koutou. Those of you who put out our, used our language at the beginning, I thank you very much, because our language is, is dying and I hope that we need people like you uh, within council that we should uh, promote it more. But to the intervener that was here, uh, if we had look at a fantail, a fantail flies around and we said, get away, you naughty bird, but uh, that fantail has a message, and it flies around and says, Chichiro mai, Chichiro mai, ki tō whare whare. And he's telling you to look at, he has, he has something to say. He's saying, look at my, my house that I carry on my behind. So uh, your intervention today was all about a fantail wanting to say something. Nō reira, uh, kia ora tātou. Nō reira, anera uh, what I'd like to close up with is to may the blessings be upon each and every one of us, but let us make this cope up stronger, let us make the nation stronger and make us all stronger. Kia tau ngā mana ki tanga ki rungi a tātou katoa, kia huai te mā kihi kihi, kia toi te kupu, kia toi te reo, kia toi rā uh, te whenua, kia toi rā te Māori, kia toi rā te wairua, kia tātou katoa, kia tūturu, kia whakamaua, kia tīna, Homie, who ye die, Kia ora tato. Kia ora, tene te mei kia koe korotono te rā koutou katoa i tūtū mai te nei rā te nā koutou katoa. That brings us to the close of the Takutai Kāpiti Climate Change and our close summit 2020. Thank you all the speakers, everybody that came, the Right Honourable Jim Bolger. Um, 
obviously it doesn't look not anything uh, within you because you're already here. So I'm preaching to the converted. Kia kaha, kia tātou katoa. Don't forget to stay around for the community event uh, happening next door at the Kura. Please take this opportunity, like Lindsay said, if you've got any further discussions, questions, or even if you want to have a robust discussion, please feel more than welcome to come over to the event next door at the Kura. Nō reira huri rauna, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā tātou katoa. Kā huri. Kia ora mai. Te ngau ngau a hine moana ko ona ngaru e aki mai e aki atu he motu ngā kore e ngau ngau ana i a papa tu anuko e hala ko te whakamahana ake o te ao me te ngau ngau a hine moana te pūpuhi mai a tāwhiri mā tea me te tangi iho a rangi nui mo tona hua te whakapai mo we nei mahi e ngari ko tāua no hoki te tangata Te whakapai, te nana tātou katoa. Our main purpose of this kaupapa was me huri whakamuri ka chichiro whakamua. Mena ka huri whakamuri, if we turn backwards and we see these pipes here, they were the ones they were all covered years ago. But now, because of the force of hine moana, tāwhiri mā tea e ngangi nui, and also us as people, this is our past. And then I turn to the uh, me huri uh, me Chichiro Whakamua, and I look at the future. What have we got us for a future? How do we fix that? Look at the sand dunes. It's sad to see them like that. So we have to get on board and find a cure. But I don't think we can because the ever rolling waves of Hine Moana, of the goddess of the sea, will keep rolling forever and ever. Hengaru e kore mochunga, eh? waves that will never ever stop. But um, also, we blame the global warming, we blame uh, Hine Moana, we blame Tāwhiri Mātea, which is blowing on me at the moment, and we blame uh, Rangi Nui when he still cries for his wife, Papa Tuanuku. But also, we have to blame ourselves because we are the cause of what's happening to us at this time. Nureira, e karema, e tewi, e ngā tūpuna, koutou e whakarongo, wairu o mai kia haune, ane nā taku, uh, tono kia koutou, me pēhea e taia e tātou ki te whakatika i tēne āhuatanga. I call out to our ancestors, to the iwi, to everyone, how do we fix this problem that we have on our hands? Nō reira, tēnā koutou, kia ora tātou.